this video. I have a saying about giving a rat's ass. It's kind of funny that how can you give a rat's ass? The ass of the rat isn't yours to give. So let the rat keep his ass. Or you can pick up a rat in tandem to somebody else ass first. And yes, you're giving a rat's ass. And if the other person wants to accept the rat ass first, to give a rat's ass, you're sort of offering up the rat's ass. And it's up to the other person if he wants to accept. So I'll have another saying too that uh, in some certain things that if a rat's ass should really be offered or even given about a particular subject. So that's what I say about tolerance to a certain thing. You can say sometimes you give a shit. There's some as and I also have a thing where I say there's certain aspects of giving a shit or giving a fuck. It's not that I don't give a shit or give a fuck. It's there's some aspects of giving a shit or giving a fuck that I don't give a shit or a fuck about. And at any given time, when and where should a rat's ass be given or a fuck be given or a, a shit be given or even offered? You know what I mean? Um, All right. What's up, yens guys? Time for another video and um, more subject matter that I talk to other people about uh, in the actual world outside of YouTube. And another subject matter that I can't that I'd have to retake the video because this is one of those shit. To me, I think it's hilarious. Um, and it's uh, hard to do a video about uh, without busting out laughing. Unlike other kind of people, whether you're on the far liberal side of the tracks or the far right, the conservative side of the tracks. and Oh, this also involves uh, some, some people on the conservative side of the tracks would give me dirty looks because... Just because I don't use scripture to talk about this. And, and I always said, uh, I try to be fair with people. Scripture doesn't work on certain people. And this is also subject matter about the people that scripture doesn't work on. That those people would get mad. Conservatives would get mad at me. And then some people will call me a conservative because of what I believe or choose to not believe. But they're right. But it covers both sides of the tracks whether the gay or not gay side, okay? And, um, yeah, I, I actually think this shit is funny, but in a way, I might be doing certain people a favor in their personal life thinking about this. And don't get me wrong, whatever floats your boat, I don't care personally about anybody else's affectional preferences. If they have, uh, particularly have a story where they were around each other or together for a long time, period of time and and uh the, and both uh parties uh the one the two people together both sides saved each other's butt uh more power to you you know what i mean but i myself from been in a straight relationship for years we both uh went got, have, our hair went gray both together we saved each other's butts so there you go but Anyway, this subject matter, we're, uh, I'm comparing, say, in a way, uh, a certain amount of wisdom and sarcasm here that I'm not putting them over another. Actually, I'm going to tell you how two people who are gay and then these other two people that are straight, both sides of the tracks, uh, in some ways, it's freaking hilarious. Whether it's, uh, oh, I'm comp also comparing, okay, two people here and there, fictitious, not mention any particular people, but say, you know, how two people are, uh, can be, uh, gay, right? But then this other two dudes who are not gay, say, they go out drinking buddies, and I'm comparing it to, right, to, um, try not to laugh here, because this shit goes on, we all know. Uh, that nothing wrong with say you're not gay and you have this best buddy or best friend or whatever and you go out and have beers drink beer I'm not against that but I compare that straight uh, say two dudes that go maybe the bar and look for chicks or whatever and there's lines of that I don't agree with too but then the gay side is this the same way you're following me um, I'm comparing also the both sides that if that's your, their own 
your only reason for living, go out and get drunk or get high. Oh, if that floats your boat. But uh, I tell you, if you got this far in this video too, part of it is the reason why I couldn't be gay or I could never be gay. Not, but if anything floats your boat, you know, I'm not bashing you either. And every single person with a, another affectional preference, I'm not hating on every single one in the world. But okay, you follow me. Uh, if you have a, uh, and I, 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 anyway, I got this, this thing there too. That if you have these people that they want to try to uh, partner up or buddy up that are not even gay and and they want you to go and drink with them. That usually, that usually means they're looking for a fool to follow them around, right? And you be their fool. Well, in these day and age, you know, whether you're gay or not, people will assume you're gay because that's getting more, no, more normalized now. Okay, the reason why, as it is, I don't even do that shit. And people have ex-co-workers and different people, uh, even from high school, even before I had my first job or whatever, and then you end up co-workers, right? If you don't go and uh, people, the, you uh, refuse an invite like to buddy up like, oh, you know how you observe those two people that are straight, two dudes that you worked with, they're always going to drink together. Nothing wrong with it. But you, you know how you notice uh, that one along with the other there's the one that seems to be following the other one around and the other one is always the alpha the shot caller i regard that even though they're not gay it's just like being gay in a sense and and not and i'm saying that uh <laughs> yeah and if you have this other group that is gay right damn near every single time the ones that are, are gay compared to the ones that are not gay they also have the one that's always following the other around them the one's always the shot caller and the other one is kind of following the other one around and uh the weaker one the one that's always going around and following the other one around um uh, and uh i don't see either group I don't see uh, e either group any better than the other in a sense you know what I mean uh, I don't have to have you know what I mean I don't have to have respect for either side like we like, got uh, people you talk you talk to in passing or work next to that you noticed you I mean it's both the same way and it and I'm I'm actually examining, cross-examining in a way, though, too. Uh, not to beat up on anybody who has another affectional preference, but uh, suggesting me to ever be gay. I'm looking at, trying not to judge too much, but I'm looking at, okay, say somebody wants to be gay. That seems like there's two roads, two extreme roads you can go on. And observing is you don't want to be on either side of them, and you don't want to be on, well, the other side, where, like I said, the gay or non-gay side of the tracks, because, say, uh, if, if somebody else wants to be gay, let it be gay, but it says, if I looked at uh, that idea, I'm, okay, I'm laughing about it, because some of us can't see really see ourselves being gay, because you'd see two roads, right? say you were and there would be like okay two two things that I wouldn't want to be on that side of the tracks the asshole that's always belittling the other right and being the shot caller and always belittling the other one or whatever or taking that advantage and as sure as shit wouldn't want to be on that other side of the tracks right being the one that's always following that other one around and being on that end of uh the other person calling the shots, right? And I'm following them around like a, like a little bitch. You know what I mean? And the non-gay side of that that's drinking buddies the same way, right? You observe some of them, the mother ones, right? The ones that make what ridiculed you, whether in high school or co-workers because you don't drink drink enough or, or smoke enough or whatever the hell. And hey, if it floats their boat that they want to go and drink and cheat on their wives 
two guys drinking buddies, both married, and they're going to the bar and then sneaking and cheating on their wives. You never know. The wives probably do the same shit, go to the bar. and You know what I mean? I'm saying, uh, I'm trying to say how you could have both them sides of the tracks. Other ones you observe, some of them may not be any more righteous than the other. And just because... Oh, yeah, the people that are gay, right, and on the LGBT side of the tracks, right? Um, just because they're a persecuted class, like, does that mean they're righteous? They probably do the same thing running around on their partners or whatever the hell. And the way I see it, too, I try to be fair with some of these people and say whatever floats your boat. And if you and somebody was both together or whatever for a long time, right, and you saved each other's butts and... And you've been around each other for years. I'll not even sarcastically speaking. I'll give you a, a uh, give you points and a thumbs up and a congratulations to try to be damn fair. And like the way I am about force anybody uh, forcing shit down people's throats and trying to force shit down the throats of kids in the public schools. That this is what um, um, I would tell these kids that the shit people trying to force that shit down people's throats in a public school um say you're on the straight side of the tracks you can have the dude that's always calling the shots always is uh if not beating his wife uh verbally beating or belittling her or whatever the hell right uh which ain't cool you know always the one calling the shots and then the other one is almost like She's like the bitch always having to take orders and follow him around. Or you have the, on the straight side of the tracks, the opposite trait where the dude is a weak little simp like he's playing the bitch, right? And uh, you get these women, you ever see on these talk shows, the women that are always uh, bragged to their uh, women friends uh, that, yeah, they got their guys trained and under control and they verbally... Uh, beat up on them and like a couple YouTubers said that one YouTuber I was listening to yeah ready to call the cops on them and do all kind of shit like that you know you got the extreme side there well then you got the gay side it's no different one side one what the one uh would be the uh always the what do you call it the shot caller and the uh and the giver of orders and belittle in the other one and then the other one, yeah, that's why, yeah, call it homophobic if you want, but that's why being gay isn't really attracted to me because the way I see it from my point of view would be, yeah, right. Either the extreme, either side of the tracks on that one, yeah. You're going to be, yes, somebody uh, is going to go and try to approach you like, you know, and go out or whatever. It's like, yeah, right. Uh, you're going to, uh, that would be uh, like asking you to, uh, they're up here, you're down here. And it's like, the hell with you, you go find somebody else for that shit. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, that's that, that's why I think a damn shit's hilarious. You know what I mean? There are people uh, out there, these younger kids are taught to identify as this or that and, and uh, fight for their right to be this and that. In some cases, yeah, they're rebelling against something. In some cases, are, are they actually fighting for the right to uh, have some partner and be playing the bitch and being the one always told what to do? Uh, but yeah, I try to say, be fair, you know, in the straight relationship. But yeah, I was actually not talking about two sides of tracks. I'm actually talking about, in a way, three sides of tracks not only the gay and not gay but you can and you the non-gay drinking buddy type thing you know that has nothing to do with being gay or straight you know i'm saying that uh even though it has nothing to do with gay it might as well be if like you have some dude that you are working with that you don't even care to be friends with in your personal life uh invite you to go out drinking with them they're almost saying it's not just to go out one drink get you stuck paying for it and you're like they're basically asking you to buddy up 
So did your follow in their damn ass around? I'm comparing that, even though it has nothing to do with gay, to the, you did, might as well be gay. You know, um, you know what I mean? Even though they're not gay, they're asking you to, you, they're asking you to play the bitch hun. Uh, <laughs> damn, and yeah, it's damn hilarious that um, some of these people um, couldn't figure this out. Uh, the ones that want to go against their Bible thumper family and friends. And this shit, I say, yeah, the Bible thumper side would give me dirty looks because according to them, I'm supposed to use scripture, which scripture doesn't work on some of these people. Nothing against it. But, you know, oh, yeah. And then, and then I'd get in a conversation with a few of them over there that would say a few things and preach a thing, right? And I would be... I'd end up uh, kind of telling them, I says, oh, yeah, I agree with you, but how come every time I, keep, I say it, you keep calling it worldly wisdom, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, so, in, so on either side of the tracks, if you're the smart ass, if you got this far in this video before I end this, it seems like neither side wants a smart ass, either extreme group wants you to look up to them in all or something and they're up here you're down here whether it's like this friendship about on either side of the tracks what and that maybe uh their only reason for living is going out and drinking and getting high and then the other side of the tracks uh you don't care for that one side of the tracks the other side of the tracks they don't care what you're against or what your morals are and you're not allowed to be neither side allows you to be too smart you got they got to be up here you got to be down here you know what I'm saying uh, that it's almost okay this video is almost done but just that's what I told one dude in text um, if he was watching us he knows who he is I says yeah I go well nothing wrong with wear a MAGA hat but, yeah, in saying what I was just saying, yeah, I'd be accused of probably wearing a MAGA hat or whatever. But I said, I had my beliefs before any MAGA hat and Trump ever came around, right? And that would also give particular... It, it would also make me a poser and a, a phony, like I'm being a poser. And uh, kiss an ass to get friends and when you... Uh, yeah, like I said, that's that's the kind of a thing that uh, my thinking was, the thinking I was, the thinking that I, my thinking was the thinking that I was thinking before that sh manga shit ever came around, even though that other side would accuse me of being that as a convenience, and then I told the one dude, like, yes, if you wear a manga hat, that's fine, but I'd be giving my haters and uh, ammunition Oh yeah, there he is, Maga, typical MAGA hat. Yeah, why give him that satisfaction? And at the same time, while with the same token, be a be a poser, and then expect people to believe you when you tell them that hey, I had my same attitude problem before the MAGA hat thing ever was ever around, and before Trump was ever thinking of being president. So yeah, so you got the. That's basically, I'm almost practically telling you what the the uh, far left, real radical uh, left is, radical authoritarian left is, and maybe it give you a piece of what uh, the radical authoritarian right is, that even if you were leaning to right in politics or morals, I've always told people there's a part of the right that's higher above you that would you mouth off to them you would conveniently be called a uh, radical right-wing extremist by them. And yeah, these people would be the supervisors in your workplaces that think they're God or whatever the hell, you know what I mean? Same way I said uh, there's some diehard leftist on an a Antifa video or whatever, he has this thing about against working for the man and quote George Carlin. But the similar damn shit, I did a whole video on it that, yeah, a lot of people lean right that way and they have supervisors that think they're God and 
you can be on the right and still be called a right-wing extremist by somebody else on the right because they're they have an SUV and they're they think they're God because they uh, have some job where they don't got to do no work and have the ability to fire you over trivial shit for just for mouthing off to them or for walking around too cocky and fracturing their ego, you know what I'm saying? But that's getting into a lot of other stuff and making this video longer. Uh, but it kind of relates, I'm slipping it in there, you know what I mean? But, uh, but yeah, so um, to end this, yeah, I was comparing that person that wants to buddy up with you as a drinking buddy that's not gay is no different than somebody that thinks they uh, you might go that other way and and thinks that you might be gay and the reason why being gay is not attractive that person's no different than the non-gay person who thinks he you're gonna uh, buddy up and be a drinking buddy both sides uh, want to have a full following them around and then uh, when you say no way to that that's when you can be uh, known as uh, a bunch of names involving swear words and all that from either side of that track, you know what I mean? And, but yeah, in ending this, I, might, I may have done somebody a favor, no matter what they identify as, because that's the ultimate truth uh, in the world, you know? Watch who and what you defend, because either side yeah they'd be glad to have you around as long as you're as long as they think you're they're going to be up here you're going to be down here and uh you're going to follow their dumb damn ass around and uh play bitch you know what i mean uh it's like the hell with that shit <laughs>